Hello folks, welcome to my guide to find the secret dungeons for Act 2 in Diablo, the nooks and crannies. Uh, I want to let you know that I cannot be 100% sure that I found all the possible spawn points of the dungeons. If you have found one, please let us know so we can look at those places as well. I just did the best that I could with the time that I had. Cheers! Okay, let's get this show on the road. This is the quest that I chose to get access to the waypoint to the Black Canyons because I did not like to kill those wasps at the start uh, to get to the Howling Plateau. So I did this instead and then worked my way south if you took the waypoint to Howling Plateau. This is the map with all the different uh, spawn points of um, uh, Sirocco Caverns and abandoned mine works that I had found. Um, while playing it, maybe there are more, I don't know, but this is the three that I know. I did not put uh, the other places of the quest dungeons on the map because then it's so many stuff going on, it only works confusing. In the middle there is Fuad Cellar and here is a minus gold event in the middle and please note that event is not always up, so even if you get this map it can be that there is only a chest or a dead person that you are going to find there. Okay, we move on to the second field, the Black Canyon Mines, with uh, three different dungeons. This is the minimum quest that you need to get access to the waypoint for the Black Canyon Mines. On the field there are basically only three spawn points for the dungeons, Blood Cellar in the middle, and uh, the southern place for the Deserted Cellar is the place to be. For the tunnels of the rock worm that can spawn in there, you need to kill an elite rock worm and the dungeon will open for you. Um, the times that I had Lara spawn was in the deserted cellar in the north. So I have no idea if she can be in the deserted cellar in the south as well. Please let us know. Okay, next field, Stinging Winds. Uh, it's basically two fields in one that you need to explore in order to get all the dungeons and the events that are going to be up in this field. This is the minimum quest that you need to get access to the Kasim outpost and you're going to end up in between both of the fields. Here is a map that I made with all the spawn points that I found on one map, so don't get confused about um, so many dungeons being up at the field because they are not all up at once. I did not get the Chambers of I the Lost Idols on the right field. I only assume that it can be at the same spot at the Crumbling Fault. So don't pin me down on that. I just wanted to make it complete for you. These are the two spawn points that you need to be for the rest of the dungeons and the events that can uh, spawn on these fields that you're going to need. Um, some start with a quest. Also these are the places where chests can spawn uh, when you open them. Uh, an elite comes running up and wants to kill you because he doesn't like that you are going to take his treasure. Okay, we move on in Act 2. We go to town, our corners. This is the quest that you need to get access to the waypoint, to the road, to Arcanus. When you get there, you start walking into town. There are only three dungeons in here, and as far as I had uh, popping up, the Sandy Cellar was the most rare for me. All of the times we ha I had Arcanus and Town Cellar up, and only a few times I had the Sandy Cellar up. So that's basically all I can tell you about Alcarnas. Easy peasy, fast explorer. Okay, next field, Dalgur Oasis with a shared load of dungeons, big field, they are all over the place. This is going to take you a lot of time to explore over and over again. This is the minimum quest that you're going to need to get access to the waypoint of the, uh, the path of the oasis and you're going to start in the south of the field. Here I have pointed out in the southern region all the spawn places of the rotting, ransacked storage and the storm cellar, and in the northern region um, the spawn places of the rest. And the old fisherman cellar 
uh, that spot was the only one that I got it. it I only got it once and the tomb of Sadar how it looks you don't need it for the achievement but hey I just put it on there so you know in the middle there is the place for several events like the tomb of uh, Khan the Cub and the prisoners of Kamir and, uh, and a couple of other things uh, anyway they, they, they change in the middle uh, in the south is the mysterious cave with a liquid rainbow in a chest after you have finished the quest of the merchant. This is the northern field with the second spawn place of the mysterious cave. Also in the southern uh, part of that field uh, with the same thing. Uh, merchant is there, gives you a quest to get inside. Uh, in the northern field is also in the middle the place for the uh, different events and in the northeast you can see the swampy cellar. That was the only spot I got it. Yay! Okay, last but not least, the, the solid sands with some very rare dungeons that you need to farm for. This is the minimum quest that you're going to need to get access to the waypoint of the desolate sands. And when you have taken the waypoint, it is time to run. It's a huge field, it is boring, there is not much going on. Most of the time it's only fault for the assassin being up or the cave of the betrayer. These are the six spawn points that I have found where the different dungeons can spawn, like the Cave of Burrowing Horror and the Foul Cavern. If you only need Cave of Burrowing Horror, uh, spawn place number three is the place to go farm because I got it the most times up there. Well, the rare dungeons, the Foul Lair and the Foul Treasure, these are two of the ten experience that you can get from the Wheel of Misfortune. It's totally random. And the wheel of his misfortune is not always up either. This is uh, the place where it can spawn in the southern region of the map. And as you can see, uh, I got it with a dungeon spawn. This is the place in the north where the wheel of misfortune can spawn. And yeah, folks, you have to get lucky. This is going to take you a lot of time, a lot of running. But hey, it's worth it. In the end, you get an achievement, right? And that's what we want. Yay! Well folks, that was it. All the uh, possible dungeons that you need for the Nooks and Crannies achievement. And as you can see here, I got it when I finally got the file treasure uh, spawn from the Wheel of Misfortune. I had a lot of fun doing this, exploring over and over again, making some gold on the way. I think it took me about 20 hours in the last three weeks to get all the dungeons done. I hope that is going to help you find that one dungeon that you are missing and I thank you for watching and um, let me know if you found other spots so we can help people to find them. Bye!